We're on the uh, shore of Lake Louise here, and uh, behind us we have an interesting uh, landform forming. Scott, do you want to talk about this? Right, well, we've got a good example of a delta uh, forming behind us here. And uh, essentially, the delta formation is all about the transformation of the river system and its sediments. Mm -hmm. So those sediments that are being carried by the river, as we transition into the lake environment, those sediments are dropped out of the river water and we have an aggrading condition where we build a delta based on mainly fine material again, uh, silts and fine sands, perhaps a little bit of clay. Remember we've got the, uh, the sands and gravels upstream in this case, uh, back at the Victoria Glacier. So this is a much more quiet environment uh, where we get the finer materials building out at the edge of the lake. If you'll notice in the, uh, in the foreground here as we look out over this uh, delta, the very milky color of the, uh, of the river as it enters into the, uh, into the uh, lake system. And uh, we can see the deposition of uh, what is largely silt-sized particles and perhaps some fine sand-sized particles as well. And uh, if we uh, look across the delta, and out towards the middle of the delta, we can see uh, plumes of silt and fine sand being carried out into the bluish colors of Lake Louise proper. The lake color itself, of course, is quite special, typical of these uh, glacial-fed lakes in the Rockies. And a lot of that color is uh, developed by the clay-sized particles that, uh, that in fact uh, carry right out into the lake and uh, it's the reflection of sunlight that gives it that color. As soils, these form the uh, basis for some pretty productive ecosystems. Well, we've got a fairly small uh, delta formation going on here behind us, um, but it's active. Uh, the uh, material that you see in the forefront, it, this is bare soil actively being eroded. In the background on the delta, we have vegetation where it's a little bit more stable. So take that same process and scale it up to a major drainage system like the Fraser River, for instance, or uh, the Mississippi River, where the uh, delta formation goes on over large, large areas. Vast amounts of sediments are being deposited. And uh, with certain uh, management interventions, uh, typically drainage and, and, and water control systems of various sorts, uh, these, uh, these soils ha have been used around the world as extremely productive agricultural soils. And history gives us uh, one of the best examples, of course, uh, the Nile River, which was replenished with annual sediment depositions, mm -hmm. and uh, an entire culture flourished on that delta. Mm -hmm. So the delta environments, very, very important. Uh, ecologically and for agricultural production uh, around the world.